what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed the last video if you guys didn't watch the last video long story short i installed the backup alarm for the s14 but i also announced merch because the sample did come in and better than that wheels that i'm about to go pick up right now uh, at gummy grip in las vegas so we're gonna head that way but first things first i got this cool license plate cover from midnight trickery you guys should definitely check them out um he has like a lot of cool designs for license plate covers and floor mats so i'll leave a link in the description below to uh, midnight trickery's instagram and i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on the s14 and there it is all done i think it looks really clean i think it's pretty cool uh it's like a different design i really like it it's the simple things man ah it's just the simple things <clears throat> with that being said today we're gonna take Camry uh, to go pick up the wheels and tires just because the Zenki doesn't have enough room for the wheels or the tires so and I really can't wait to get these things on because the zenki has been needing uh, uh, a good set of wheels um just because it's too stock looking and it's time for a change so I'm really excited about the wheels I hope you guys like them as much as I like them uh, I think they're gonna be pretty dope I've also got to do a lug conversion from four lug to five lug. My boy John's hooking me up with a set of hubs. I've got the rest of the things I need, like the rotors and brake pads coming from AutoZone. So they should be here tomorrow morning. So at, when all that is done, uh, my boy John said he'll help me mount the wheels and tires and get it going tomorrow. So I'm really excited guys. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So stay tuned and y'all can see it. I'm gonna head over there right now. So I'm see y'all over there. All right guys, I'm here at Gummy Grip. It's like uh, a good amount of wheels to choose from. They have some here too. And they also have some next door. Um, it's definitely like, if you're in Vegas, it's a good one-stop shop for JDM things, I guess you could say. You have the uh, quick release hubs and steering wheels here, NRG. Take a look around. They have um, tires and wheels. So definitely if you like, you need to pick up today, kind of like in my situation where like, I just want to get it today. It's definitely useful that they're here and ready to go. But you guys did see the wheel in this room. I'm not going to tell you which wheel it was, but the wheel that I'm buying is in here, and I'm not gonna tell you which. I'll give you guys a quick scope again. Let me know down in the comments below which wheel you guys think of. here in las vegas guys i'm telling you momo federal tires achilles tires they have tires on deck if you guys need it they got it super good set of wheels super good set of tires in vegas or near the vegas area come check out gummy grip man what are y'all waiting for and as you guys can see i got the wheels in the back tires in the trunk now we gotta mount these bad boys but i broke a little sweat out there i ain't gonna lie so now i'm gonna head home i'll probably wait till later um, John, a friend of mine, said he would help me mount these, so I might bring them to him later, or I might bring them tomorrow when we install them anyway, but I'm super excited, guys. I cannot wait to see this on the car. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be sick, man. And it's just the beginning. See y'all in a second. All right, everybody. So we have the tires here, wheels here. So as weird as it looks, John is actually trying to knock out the tar from the frame. So what he's doing is, is he's laying water across it and then uh, laying the crushed dry ice so everything freezes more. And then after that's all set, he'll take the um, the air chisel and just knock out all the tar. John is the man with the plane. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> People on YouTube are gonna be like, what the hell is this dude doing? What is he cooking? This is some dry ice. Dry ice. And then now I'm gonna smash it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I gotta do other stuff. You wanna smear this? Yeah, I'll smear it for you. Okay, it might get like secure. Key, god damn, I can't. Put your hand in it, let me see. Yeah, bro. Hey, put your tongue on it. <laughs> no gloves, dog, no gloves. No gloves. <laughs> Sheesh! It's already <laughs> disappearing and everything. Bro, imagine it's like all ice now. All ice? It's cold. You can bro. feel it, bro. Feel that shit, dude. Oh, That's nuts. One wheel down, three more to go. But I'm super happy the way it looks. Just a little bit of stretch, five spoke. Woo, I cannot wait to throw these on. Here's John mounting his uh, wheel. Yes, sir. All right, bro, okay. just hold it, hold it nice. And you, right? Yeah, right there, that one. Yeah, just, just tap it once, bro, full. Okay. Let go, tap it once. Hey, that's it, dog. That's really it. Light, okay, some light, some light. <laughs> All right, guys, the wheels are finished. As y'all can see right there, they look so good. I'm super excited to put them on the S14. I'm waiting on some motors to come in. So Thursday, I'll do the whole conversion to five lug and get them on. But I'm gonna show you guys what they look like right now. One, two, three, four, and just look. Look at the stretch. Just look at the stretch. Oh my God. It's gonna look so good on a Zenki. I'm tired of rocking those little 14, 15 wheels with the, 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 the meat on the tire being this big. It's time for change and changes now. I can't wait to throw them on. Can't wait for y'all to see it. Stay tuned. Appreciate it. Thank you for the help. Thank you, John, for helping me mount them. Yes, Appreciate sir, the dude. help, guys. Mm -hmm. Good looks. And we made it home. I'm here at the garage. As you can see, got all the wheels lined up. Got the Zenki in the back. Now it's just a waiting game till I get uh, the rotors that I need so we can do the lug conversion. But I'm super happy with the wheels, the way they look, the way they came out. Shout out to John, man. Thank you so much for helping me mount the wheels and getting everything ready and, you know, showing me how to do the lug conversion when that comes up. So much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Ross, Carl, and Wong for helping me load them up in the car and, you know, helping me out, giving me insight and everything. So shout out to the homies, man. Y'all re really came through for me. Other than that, just got to wait till Thursday so we can finally see the finished product on the Zenki. Man, I think it's gonna look so good. What's going on, everyone? Obviously, it's been a, it's a new day from what you guys last saw. Um, and actually, it's been a couple days. So, I don't know, let me see. You guys can see, I had the wheels lined up in my garage. Um, unfortunately, I wanted to get the wheels on ASAP, but I was missing the rotors that AutoZone was supposed to send. And AutoZone uh, kind of took forever to send them out to me and they didn't get here when they were supposed to be. So I wasn't able to um, throw them on because John was actually supposed to um, walk me through the whole thing and teach me how to do it. But unfortunately, because it took so long, uh, a couple days passed and now John couldn't help me. And if I wanted help, I would have to wait a little bit. So instead, I'm on my way right now to get my fenders rolled because I'm gonna need just a little bit so I can clear the new wheels. And after I get my uh, fenders rolled, I'm going to go ahead, pick up the last couple things that I need, and I'm going to do the five-load conversion and throw these wheels on myself. So I'm actually 
not running late, but I gotta hurry up and leave because I didn't realize how far this guy is. So I will see you guys over there. As you guys can see, I made it. Uh, Tevin's hooking me up. He's gonna go ahead and just roll the fenders a little bit. Uh, nothing crazy, just a little roll, a little pull. Just so uh, the clearance is good when we throw the wheels on. But yeah, he's hooking it up, man. It's nothing crazy. So he's just doing what he does. He was kind enough to pull up a chair for me. Let me sit and watch and enjoy the whole thing while he takes care of it. If you need any fender rolling or pulling here in Vegas, I heard he's the man. His name is Tevin. You got a uh, Facebook page or Instagram? Facebook is Tevin Harrison. Okay. Instagram is going to be uh, just Las Vegas Fender Bender. Las Vegas Fender Bender. I'll go ahead, um, leave it here, and I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check him out. Like I said, if you're in the Vegas area, you need any... Uh, fender rolling, pulling. Is there anything else you do or just fender rolling and pulling? Uh, fender, fender rolling, suspension work. Okay, and suspension work. Ten Check out Tevin. Ten years strong. Ten years strong. He knows what he's doing, guys. So I'll go ahead and leave that in the description. Yeah. Yeah. Tevin went ahead and he hooked it up. Actually, I'll show you guys on the front how the roll came out. It's pretty slight, but it's it's just enough and clean enough to where I can get the wheels in. It looks really good. I'll show you guys the back. It's a clean, simple roll. The wheels will fit good. Nice clearance. Tevin hooked it up, man. Hey, Tev. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, so like I said, if you guys need any fender rolling, suspension work, Tevin, here in Las Vegas, like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description to his Instagram and his Facebook. You guys go ahead and give him a call. I can't wait to get the wheels on. All right, everyone, I am back at home. Sylvia right here uh, with the new rolled and pulled fenders, front and rear. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, pull her in. I bought everything that I'm gonna need jack jack stands uh obviously we got the wheels and tires right here i uh, got the hubs right there we got rotors and, and brake pads in the trunk um everything that i think i'm gonna need i'm gonna go ahead and lay down some cardboard on the grounds so i don't make a mess um first time doing it i hope that's everything i need i hope i don't run into any complications but i don't know who knows you hear that Fingers crossed to an easy process. Fingers crossed that I don't break anything like I did my reverse lights. And there we go. It's not a game, it's a red stick.